Well guys, here's today's vlog. Looks like I washed it and dried it in my jeans. So, since this isn't gonna work, I decided let's do an impromptu review of 8,078 mile review. How about that? Roll that intro. back to the anonymous biker usa channel thank you guys for tuning in hopefully you like the video if you do please consider subscribing hit the button and let's get this show on the road today i am out on my 2017 indian scout and i realized i hit 8,000 miles a little over that so I figured, why not, why not give an 8,000 mile review because there is no better endorsement or condemnation of a product than after you've had it for an extended period of time and put it through all kinds of different circumstances. So here it is. Would I buy this bike again? And that answer is unequivocally Yes, and let me tell you why. 8,000 miles. This bike is super fun. Every time I get off it, I look back at it and smile. Every time I get on it and start it, I smile. And it's just a really reliable, fun, great handling, torquey. It's got everything you need. And what a value for the price. So 8,000 miles in, I have no qualms about this bike. If you guys want to see what I've done to the bike, i put a picture here. Uh, there is a video, it's called Indian Scout Mods. You can check that out and it's a very detailed video of every single thing I've done to this bike since I've had it. I've only had two issues with this bike since the day I got it. One starter went bad. I didn't get stranded. I was at a gas station. I heard it starting to chug a lug a little bit. I knew there was a recall from the factory. I took it into the dealer. They replaced the starter under factory warranty. Zero questions asked. No problem. No charge. Haven't had a problem since. The second issue I had was something that never happened to me before and my mechanic never saw it either. I was on the interstate in fifth gear doing about 60 65 approaching my exit as I was three four hundred feet away from my exit I started to try to downshift and I had nothing my shifter peg was just flapping in the wind so I said, oh boy this is gonna be interesting so I was just trying to maintain speed, coast off the ramp, and I was about four miles from my Indian dealer, and I had two red lights to get through to get to that dealer, so I thought, well, if I could time these lights, I can coast right on in. So I get off, speed line is 45, there's more traffic, I'm trying to pace myself, keep enough power to the back wheel while I'm in fifth gear, I'm 40, 45 miles an hour. First light green, awesome, boom, right through. Second light, of course, is red. Traffic slowing down, I'm slowing down, 40, 35, 30. It's like, oh man, trying to time the light, trying to time the light. And this is where this bike impressed me the most. I had the clutch in, I'm down to about 28 miles an hour in fifth gear. Traffic started going, the light turned green, and this bike still had enough pull power and torque. Starting from fifth gear, 
at high 20 miles an hour to get me enough throttle to get me through and get me to the dealership. That was crazy to me. And most other bikes would just stop. But I got it there and the problem was the shifter ratchet assembly broke. A little bitty spring just broke. And the shifter had no tension, therefore I had no gears. So they ordered that part for me. That took about 10 days. Put that in under warranty, zero charge, no problems. Haven't had a problem since. And while I did that, because they had to take the uh, the shifter peg off and they had to take the radiator off and I decided to put the Barnett stainless steel clutch cable on since they were doing it anyway and couldn't be happier with it. It's a great clutch. So 8,000 miles in guys. Don't buy this bike if you don't want to smile. Don't buy it if you're sick of compliments from people. And don't buy it if every time you get off the bike, no matter where you go, you look back and smile. This bike is not for you. So do not buy Indian or a Scout if you don't want those things to happen. Why an 8,078 mile review? Everybody knows the last 78 miles were the most important because it's fun. That's why. So guys, after two years and 8,078 miles, the best review I can give this bike is one question. Would I buy this bike again? Yes, I would. Look at it. Oh yeah!